Hey everybody, I'm trying to save some money for my shop, so we are gonna bring some tools back to life. I'm gonna dig something out and let's fix it. So this is a tow pin. Um, when you tow things, you find a lot of these pins, they come with this little piece, you, you put this in, like if wherever the, the ball hitch is, you put it in sideways so it can't come out. But a lot of these start to get rusted and eaten and they sit on the truck for a long time and then this pin gets rusted in there and it doesn't work anymore. And I don't even know if you could just buy these pins, but they're probably like $10 because they're so heavy, thick steel. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take about five cents worth of electricity and some old tools we have in the shop and we're gonna clean this right up. So I'm leaving the pin in here right now because I wanna sand the pin down and then I'll pull the pin out so we can, or the clip, ret the retainer pin, so we can get the maiden pin. If you notice, I always go slow. I always go slow. Sometimes I go fast, but this little stuff, if you go really, if you're going fast, you see where it's, what it's doing? All you're doing is pushing the pin around. You're not cleaning anything. This is fast. I can't keep it steady. But now watch, you gotta have a technique. You gotta feel it, you gotta flow, you gotta flow, you know? See, I'm even underneath it. It wants to go up, but I'm going so slow, it's just vibrating, you know? Let's put this on the other side. You see the difference in the pin between this and this? I don't know if you guys can see the difference. I'm gonna show you the difference. All right, so this is the pin before we sanded, and this is the raw metal pin after we sanded. You see all the rust is gone? We're gonna open this up and get it a little bit in between here, but I just want you to see a close up of the difference. Now we have this little tiny bit left to do, so I'm just gonna hold it by hand and do it, you know? Now you see I'm gonna hold, keep the drill steady and I'm just gonna rub the pin on it. There it is. Nice new pin, no rust. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wash this down, hit it with some etch primer and paint it black. Now let's get right on the main pin. Now the main pin, you can hit a little harder because it's a little more heavy steel. And you can see the rust coming right off, you know? Yeah, you're taking the paint off, but who cares? There's rust under that too. So some people like to do it like this and go roll up. Some people like to go like this and roll up. Just to your opinion, it's however you feel you're good on the uh, on the drill. I go both hands. I I do both ways. I don't really care. I've been doing it for so long. Sometimes I can't get my right hand in there. I have to go lefty. I want to get real good around the little hole here to do it like this down here on the on the bend you know all right check this thing out already already look at that look at that where'd the rust go you're gonna go out and buy a ten dollar pin when you could have took that 30 seconds to clean this off I ain't got it like that, man. Y'all might have money like that, but at Disturbing Creations, we ain't got money like that. So we fix our stuff so that we can go out and buy Porsches, you know? You out there buying $10 pins and driving a hoopty. What you doing, man? All 
Now, like I said, you gotta change your technique up. You know what I mean? Like on the curve here. You can't get it with this up and down. Take it in that little reset right there. So you gotta change it up. You know? Man, that pin looks brand new. I even impressed myself. Look at that. Look at that pin. Oops, sorry about the camera. Look at that pin. Show me the rust on this pin. Right? I mean, you can hit this with just paint now and let it, I'll give it a, at least a 24 hours before you put it on. But I'm gonna hit it with etching primer because I want it to etch to the metal. I don't wanna do this and spray it down and then, um, you, you know, it starts getting scratches and starts to get banged up again within a year. So I'm gonna etch primer it. Always make sure you wash this stuff really well and then right before you paint it or etch prime, you get a tack cloth and go over it or a very, 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 very almost dry, damp cloth. Wipe it down once, take some air, air dry it off. And air dry, you know, air dry that shit, yeah. Off or just let it air dry and then paint it. Do not go straight to paint this because you will ruin it. And that's how you refurbish a pin. So we're back with that handle and pin. I'm going to go ahead and put these together because so I can just etch primer them. This, as you see, goes directly onto bare metal and this etches into the bare metal so the paint can stick to it. Because the pin's gonna be outside all the time and weathered, I'm gonna do this extra step. And because people are going to be touching this with oil on their fingers and everything else, I wanna do the extra step for this handle as well. So we just take the pan up, always read the directions, now this is Dupacolor, but it's self etching. It's different than the metal cast paint that we use, so always read the directions. And we're just gonna make sure that we spray it real easy. Now this comes out as like a green color so you can see the difference. Notice that I don't have it laying on the ground. It's kind of wobbling as I'm painting it because I have it up on this cap. If I had this on the ground while I was painting it, then this could stick to the cardboard and when I lift it up, it could lose some of the paint. Always shake your can. Continue to shake your can. Don't want to go too crazy with this stuff. Just a little bit where it's wet. Even if I can see through it, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll just hit it again. It's always better to do one coat and not cover everything than to do and do a second coat and maybe even a third you'll save paint and you'll save time because there's no drips and i don't have to go back and sand everything so let's let this sand let's let this um dry real quick for about 10 minutes and then we're going to look at it we're going to flip them over and do the other side and then they're going to be ready for paint let's fast forward So we're back with the handle and the pin. I've now flipped them over after they're dry and I'm going to etch prime the bottom and the back piece. I wonder how old this handle is. It, it looks really old. I don't, I don't even know if they make these anymore, you know? But it's steel and I like it because it can with, uh, withstand a lot of abuse. They make a lot of stuff with plastic now. It's it's cheaper, it's easier, but it just doesn't have the sturdy and the durability that, you know, this, this old steel has. America used to be known for making steel stuff, but we don't do it anymore. So I want to save these things. So there it is. I did the other side. We're going to let this dry for about 10, 15 minutes to cure. And then we're gonna, we found this Rust-Oleum hammered paint that we used on another project. I don't really like this, but... It is a gold color, and if you drop this pin on the ground and it's black in some grass or asphalt or anything, you're taking your, your, your boat apart, whatever, you are not going to find this in the dirt. So let's paint this a nice bright gold color so that we can actually see it. So I don't care if it's a hammered look or whatever, 
as long as it works and I can see it. If I would have had orange paint, I would have painted it orange, you know? So this paint comes out super wet, so I only do a little bit. And you see where it comes, where it's got like, you see the ridges? That's what the hammered looks like. So it comes out and it spurts. Thicker some places, thinner some places. I don't really care. It might get scratched up. We'll paint it again. But now when I drop my pen, I'm gonna be able to see it every single time. So now that we have these items already sanded down and I showed you how to redo this hook and pin, I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of this hammered so that I can see the pin and people can see where the hook is to put the broom back on. And I'm just trying to get rid of this paint so I don't have to buy any more. And there it is. So we're just going to let that cure for about 10 or 15 minutes and then we're going to come up and flip them over and then we'll be done with both of these pieces so now if you drop this little clip on the ground and it's dark outside you can find something gold on the ground <clears throat> and there it is a brand new pin now if you bought this pin that was black, you'd have to paint it a color or orange or yellow or something so you could see it anyway. I don't know how many of these my friends have lost just because they couldn't find them on the ground, especially in the dark. At least this, if you see something gold on the ground, you know it's not supposed to be there. So we're going to take this outside so you can get a really good look at it. All right, so let's check this thing out. Now, this is the pin that locks this pin in place for when you're taking your ball hitch to pull a trailer like that or a boat or whatever else you want. This is the pin that was all rusted up and it looks brand new again. It does have a hammered look that's not, um, that's not dense in the paint, that's hammered. So it looks like this, that textured hammered look because that's the paint that we used. But let's do a little experiment here. La 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 la, we're out working on our boat. Oh no. I dropped a pin in my, in the clip. Where is it? Where is it? Where can it be? Oh no, wait, what is that gold thing? Well, that doesn't look like grass and it's not black or gray. It doesn't even blend in. Oh my God, I think I'm rich. I just struck gold. Yes, yes, yes. This is a great idea. And even if yours isn't rusted, I would still go if you have some orange or yellow or white or whatever. It's a very light color, some really light blue, whatever your color is. I would paint these two things because you are never going to lose them. All right. So if you like gold pins, give us a like and a subscribe. Share this with somebody that loses their pin in their clip for their truck all the time or car. Uh, they're going to get a kick out of this and you're going to get a kick out of it as well. So God bless. We love you all. Come back and see more disturbing creations that we are making. Take it easy.